The title of your speech again is A Friend. Mr. Timer, you have the time. Time to take it. Is five to seven minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please assist me in welcoming. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honoured guests. Parliamentary procedure is very much part of what we do at Toastmasters. And yet, how many of us like parliamentary procedure? How many of us feel comfortable using parliamentary procedure? Probably not a lot of us. And dear guests, if you are on boards or want to be on boards, they too use parliamentary procedure. So my speech tonight is both for us Toastmasters, where we use parliamentary procedure, and is also for guests who want to know how boards work, how do they take decisions, how are opinions voiced. May I suggest that, yes, parliamentary procedure is perhaps a little complex, but it can also be a true friend like any interesting friend, complex, yet adding a lot of value. What do I mean, a lot of value? Well, parliamentary procedure ensures that we do one thing at a time. In this day and age where we're multi-texting, multi-functioning, multi-tasking, multi-multi, isn't it wonderful? to have a discipline that encourages you to do one thing at a time. Which is why we have our agenda, which is one thing at a time, one item at a time. Which is why when a speaker rises to speak, no one else interrupts. No two other people have a private conversation because it's one thing at a time. What else does parliamentary procedure offer us? Clarity. This is a time when we are all bombarded by so much information, details. Today, the average person receives more information in one day than someone living in medieval times would receive in a whole year. That's how much information we are absorbing and the details we're being bombarded with. And yet parliamentary procedures got rules to ensure clarity. What do I mean? Well, when we want to introduce a new item of business, we use those magical words. I move. Can you say that with me? Let's feel the power of that. I move that. I move that. And then we simply state what it is we are proposing. We don't at that stage need to make any arguments for it. We don't need to explain the logic. We just simply need to state it. So I move that, and if I may share with you a playful example, I move that Toastmasters are allowed to bring their dogs to meetings. Okay, I'm not suggesting this is serious. There is a playful example, very clear. Emotion is a little bit like a diamond ring, like a precious diamond ring. If you have a real gem, would you then surround it by a lot of other precious jewels, or would you let it shine on its own? You'd let it shine on its own, and so it is with the motion. I move that, and then simply we state what it is we move. So parliamentary procedure offers clarity. Parliamentary procedure does not allow one person to monopolize a discussion or a debate. And that is why when a motion is made, the presiding officer will say, is there a second? Because that ensures that there's one person who's made the motion, he's interested in the motion, and at least there's one other person, the person who seconds the motion, who is also interested in the motion the discussion and the debate. Also, parliamentary procedure states that no speaker can speak twice to a motion unless all other members who want to speak have had a turn. Mm -hmm. 
So in that way, no one person monopolises the debate. Parliamentary procedure ensures fairness. During a debate, the presiding officer takes comments from those for the motion and those against the motion. So it's for, against, for, against. That way, maintaining a balance. And that's why it's helpful when we rise to speak, to say, I rise to speak for the motion, or I rise to speak against the motion. And that makes things much more clear and fair. Fairness, one member, one vote. We all have an equal say, members, when it comes to voting. Parliamentary procedure ensures flexibility. Once a motion is made and debate opens, anyone can propose an amendment. During the discussion, a motion may be amended. An amendment adds, deletes, or substitutes words in the main motion. So we may have, I move that the motion is amended by adding the words and Remember our previous examples that Toastmasters are allowed to bring their dogs to meetings? Well, now with the amendment with the addition of a word, or rather two words, will be dogs and cats. Parliamentary procedure, therefore, is about one thing at a time, offers clarity, does not allow one person to monopolise, ensures fairness and flexibility. Um, okay. I do apologise for the use of technology. Right, so basically, with all those things that parliamentary procedure offers us, would you not consider this a good friend to every Toastmaster here? It offers fairness, it offers flexibility, and it offers so much clarity. So parliamentary procedure is indeed a good friend. Mr Toastmaster. Thank you.